In the previous video, we saw that amides can be dehydrated to yield nitriles. A nitrile can also be hydrolyzed in strong acid or strong base to yield a carboxylic acid. In the case of acidic hydrolysis, this reaction proceeds via the amide, but the amide is not typically isolated. In the case of basic hydrolysis, the carboxylate is produced in this alkaline medium. However, an acidic workup could be used to provide the neutral carboxylic acid if desired. In strong acid, the nitrile will first be protonated on nitrogen. This enhances the electrophilicity of the adjacent carbon, which is subsequently attacked by water, pushing a pi bonding pair of electrons onto nitrogen as a result. And the oxonium ion that is thus formed then sheds a proton so as to yield a neutral intermediate. This neutral intermediate happens to be the tautomer of an amide. Tautomers are constitutional isomers that can readily interconvert through the relocation of a single proton, which is accompanied by the migration of a pi bond as well. In acid, tautomerization occurs via protonation on nitrogen. This yields a resonance-stabilized cation. And this cation can lose a proton from oxygen to afford the amide. The amide, however, is not usually the product of this reaction. Under strongly acidic conditions, it cannot be isolated because hydrolysis immediately follows. For a complete mechanism for this last phase of the reaction, see the video on the nucleophilic acyl substitution of amides. Nitriles may also be hydrolyzed in strong base. Under these conditions, hydroxide directly attacks the nitrile carbon, thereby pushing pi electrons onto nitrogen. The resultant anion then deprotonates water. And notice that the intermediate thus formed is again the tautomer of an amide. There are two ways to proceed forward mechanistically. One option is that we may tautomerize to form the amide and then proceed with basic hydrolysis of that amide. For the mechanism for that process, see the video on the nucleophilic acyl substitution of amides. The other choice is for the tautomer shown to be attacked again by hydroxide, displacing another pair of pi electrons onto nitrogen. The anion that is formed is then neutralized through acid-base reaction with water. Under the strongly basic conditions needed for this reaction, the tetrahedral intermediate is then deprotonated not just once, but twice, so that both hydroxyl groups lose a proton in the process. At this point, neither oxygen anion can serve as a leaving group, because oxygen with a doubly negative charge would simply be too high in energy. Instead, a mid is displaced as a leaving group. Although it is a poor leaving group, there is no other choice. Amid then rapidly removes a proton from water to yield ammonia as a byproduct of this reaction. But it is the carboxylate that is the organic product of interest in this process. A note on nomenclature is useful at this point. Amid has two meanings 
In the preceding slides, amid is used to refer to the conjugate base of ammonia. Amid, of course, also denotes a particular carboxylic acid derivative. However, in this instance, it is the former definition that is the one of interest. Now let's turn our attention to some specific examples. In this instance, benzonitrile is hydrolyzed in strong acid to afford benzoic acid via benzamid as an intermediate. The reaction begins with protonation of the nitrile. This is followed by the attack of water on the nitrile carbon, which displaces a pi bonding pair of electrons onto nitrogen. The resultant oxonium ion loses a proton so as to afford the tautomer of an amide. Tautomerization in acid proceeds through protonation of nitrogen, which generates a resonance-stabilized cation. And this resonance-stabilized cation loses a proton from oxygen so as to produce benzamide. Benzamide is then hydrolyzed to yield benzoic acid and the ammonium ion as the final reaction products. Remember, for a full mechanism for this phase of the process, you can refer back to the video on the nucleophilic acyl substitution of amides. On the other hand, benzonitrile can also be hydrolyzed in base. Benzoate and ammonia are the reaction products under these conditions. However, if benzoic acid is desired, an acidic workup can be performed. This reaction begins with the attack of hydroxide on the nitrile carbon. A pi bond is displaced onto nitrogen, and the anion thus formed is neutralized by removing a proton from water. The tautomer of an amide also results from this process. We could tautomerize this to an amide and consider the basic hydrolysis of that amide, as seen in the video, on the nucleophilic acyl substitution of amides. Alternatively, we can consider the attack of a second hydroxide ion on this tautomer, which pushes another pi bonding pair of electrons onto nitrogen. The resultant anion deprotonates water to yield a tetrahedral intermediate without a charge. This tetrahedral intermediate is deprotonated not just once, but twice under the strongly basic conditions that are needed for this reaction. In the process, both hydroxyl groups lose their proton. When this happens, there is only one reasonable leaving group, albeit a poor one. Amid dissociates as the tetrahedral intermediate collapses to form benzoate. Amid is then neutralized when it removes a proton from water, so that the final products are both benzoate and ammonia. In summary, nitriles can be hydrolyzed in strong acid or base. Both reactions proceed through the amide or its tautomer. However, the amide is not typically isolated. Instead, it is hydrolyzed to afford the carboxylic acid or carboxylate as the final reaction product. The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, a color-coded approach to arrow pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, 
or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.